First period comes to an end. The Brockville Braves outshoot the Kings 12-9. They have a 1-0 lead after 20 minutes here in the opening frame. Ron, you don't know the drill, so we're going to put you on camera here <laughs> so we can introduce you to the nation with our protective <laughs> nation. That's good. Hockey nation, Pembroke. This is the visor I wore when I refereed. That's right. I used to always get on me. I had a huge, like Vinny uh, Damfus or Dave Poulin or a couple of the guys I can think of that wore a big shield. I had one. Well, this is uh, the new COVID rules, so we put the screen up. Anyways, it is just a real delight. I haven't really had a chance to introduce you to the audience. So, uh, hometown hockey. You get to go from one place to the next place right across the nation. A lot of time traveling, but it's really cool. You know, when I was young, there was a show in ABC's Wide World of Sports. Jim McKay was the host. And as a boy, there's a couple of things happened for me, Jamie. The, the Pan Am Games were in Winnipeg, and we were out west. I was a Red Deer, Alberta boy. And then the Olympics right there after uh, in Mexico City. And I had seen Mark Spitz, a swimmer, uh, win all those medals in Winnipeg and again on into Munich. That caught my imagination, the Olympics, the world co convening. And then Wide World of Sports, the idea that I could find out what they do for sport in Ireland or in Australia. and That's the magic of Rogers Hometown Hockey. I know it's hockey-centric, but we always feature the culture of a community as well. And, you know, Tara was too bashful to mention, or humble to mention, that she recorded an album right here. She After did. her successes with Joy Drop, which were, you know, that, that second album of Joy Drops, she had a song called Sometimes Want to Die. It was number five in the U.S., and then 9-11 happened. And radio stations pulled the plug on that song for obvious reasons. They just felt it was inappropriate to have a song with that title. Their record company went under during this uh, time after 9-11, so Joy Drop ends. Now Tara's trying to resurrect her music career, so she cuts a solo album. Jordan, our good buddy here in Pembroke, uh, Blinker the Star, you know, he, he produces an album, uh, her first release, uh, When We Were Stars. Sensational, but it all ties to Pembroke. What are the odds that Tara Sloan, you know, hopscotching the country doing hockey stories, ends up in a town where she cut a record? And then, to make it even funnier, uh, we had the member of the provincial parliament, uh, John, got on stage today John and said, well, I, Yeah, I cut two albums here, Tara, not to make you uh, feel bad, but <laughs> these are country music. We don't know anything about it. Uh, anyway, it's nice to be here and the, the stories to tell, thanks to you and all that have helped us. Can't wait. Well, I'm looking forward to the next two periods. You're going to stay with us for the game, which is oh, really. Yes generous of your time thank you so much we are through 20 minutes with ron mclean as our special color commentator tonight it's one nothing for the brockville braves over the kings